Okay, now, so as promised, I mentioned about eight golden questions in my Facebook, right? Like, okay, now, so um, four out of the eight golden questions will be here, and that four question will be simultaneous equation, quadratic equation, R in sector, and speed time graph. Okay, because all these consider easy questions, so if I teach you in seminar, um, it's considered a waste of time. Okay, now, so I just put a post it on YouTube, can, you can see it yourself. Now, okay, so what happened is, of course, eight golden question. What it means? Okay, eight golden question means you can get a minimum A minus. Okay, and next, of course, A is possible prep as well. You have to go through your session B and your paper one as well. Now, so and next, what I do here is, can you see I add another two question here? And this one is to ensure A plus. Now that's why I put a straight line probability. But don't worry about this thing because when you come to SPM, most of the question they repeat. I mean, I said repeat means the type mm, type wise is, is still still the same. Now, of course. The method to solve is almost the same. Now, so come back. I will go through art and sector first. Now, so one of the questions I already put it here. I did clone one of the classic paper here. Now, so before I go into the question, I'll give you some key points or maybe what I know as one theory understanding now. Okay, so I write out the title. The title is called art and sector. Okay, based on art and sector, okay, I just go through these two names here. Art, we name it as the site or maybe in other words, parameter. And sector, okay, sometimes we name it as area as well. Now, but of course they are part of it only, okay, it's not the whole thing. Okay, so the next thing will be I will write down the two keywords that they will come out in your exam. Okay, the first keyword is called parameter. The second keyword that they will come in your question will be this thing called area. Now, and based on these two things, I'll write out a few informal words here. Okay, the first informal word for parameter will be you have to plus all the sites, okay, plus no minus involved, remember that. Now, and after you plus all the sides, of course you have to know the next thing will be this thing called the formula. You have to know this. Form 2, you already go through this before. And then area means what? It's called paper cutting. Okay, what do I mean by paper cutting? Okay, later I will show you. Okay, this thing called shader region. Okay, and next, the formula. What is the formula? Pi r squared. Just remember this way. Parameter is the size. It's called cm. Okay, unit wise. And area, we name it as cm square. Look at this square, look at this square here. This is how I memorize. Okay, but of course, all this formula belongs to what? The whole circle. But I don't need the whole circle. I just need part of it. So to do part of it, what we do is, okay, I will circle the whole thing here, and I draw two arrows, and these are the two information that you need to solve this question. First information, please remember, you have to detach this thing called radius. And the second one, you need this thing called angle. Okay, just two information. Now, so let's come to this question and we detach all the information and fill in the blanks. Okay, this question is considered fill in the blanks. Okay, what do I mean by fill in the blanks? Just take out all your formulas, throw everything inside, you get an answer. And what do I mean by throw then? Throw this two information to the fill in the blanks columns. Okay now. So now let's come to part A. I read out the whole whole time first. They mention x, z, o is a quadrant. Okay, when you see the word quadrant, it means one over four of a circle. Okay, just, just a detailed understanding for you. Now tell what's the meaning of 1 over 4? Or in other words, when you come to x, z, o, it means 90 degree. If the whole thing is 90 degree, it means the remaining here is 30. Okay, get the meaning? Okay, next thing. They say P, O, W, Y is a semicircle. And semicircle we limit as what? Of course, 180, half of a circle. So if this part of it is 60, the remaining here will be 130. Okay, now. And of course, I have to mention this to you. When they mention both center O, this, this is common sense, we know that. But if I say I want to explain in detail, center always gives you the what? Always gives you the angle. That's why you see, can you see this O center here? All the angles happen there. Okay, now, of course, let's continue. What are the uh, remaining information that I pass to you? Okay, XO given the radius 21. Okay, don't forget what we need again radius, angle. Angle, everything we have it, and now radius. OP, 14, where is it? Okay, OP is 14, let's put it here. This is 14 cm. Now, just to go through with you. If this XO is 21, that's the center point. This circle by right is this big, but they show you part of it, the quadrant. So can I say Z to O is 21? Of course. Next thing, look at this semi circle. This is 14. Is this 14? Of course. Okay, so it means this is 14 as well. So I just put it here, 14. So if just now I say this is 21, so the remaining is 7. Can you see how I interpret, uh, uh, interpret the diagram? Okay, now let's continue. So information-wise, everything's settled. So now come to the questions 
and solve all the keywords, okay, and start filling the blanks. FIB, filling the blanks. Okay, now, area, let's refer here. Area, paper cutting, pi r squared. Okay, let's put it here, pi r squared. And don't forget shading region, no? okay, you have to cut it off some uh, part of it. Okay, and perimeter is 2 pi r. Whole diagram, okay, it means the whole thing, of course. And don't forget perimeter, you have to add everything. Okay, I mean as in the sides, add everything. Okay, let's look at part A. Area of the shader region, paper cutting. What's the meaning of paper cutting? Okay, let's look at shader region. Okay, the blue color shader part here. How to get them? You take, okay, I, I use another color here. Okay, you take a quadrant, of course. You minus off part of it, not the whole thing at all. Okay, part of it as in PY only. Okay, so you minus off this thing, you get the answer really. Okay, but of course you cannot write this way. Okay, this is just to let you understand. Okay, so based on this diagram here, I will write down my R and A, my radius and angle. Okay, center point always give you the angle, 90 degree given, 60 degree given. And what is this? This is 21 radius. What is this? This is 40 the radius. Now start filling the blanks. Bracket minus bracket. Okay, and pi r squared, don't forget. So let's put the pi r squared inside. Pi r squared, pi r squared times dash times dash and this dash indicating the fraction okay the angle given 90 degree means 90 over 360 but if you are fast enough what you can write 1 over 4 okay what is 60 the angle over 360 and then next pi everything is given that's why I say few in the blanks 22 over 7 and what is the radius given 21 okay just put it okay square and what is this 22 over 7 and what's the radius given 40 you see Everything is just very easy, just put everything inside. Of course, you have to understand this. It will take a thing. Cut off the things that you don't want. Okay. And part B, perimeter, add up all the sides. Okay. Now. So, what I do is, let's come to the diagram. I will use red color to indicate all the root. Okay. All the root of your what? Of your sides. Okay. Now. So, the whole diagram means, okay, let's start with zero, let's say. Okay. Zero to x is 21. Plus, x to z, this is what we name it as arc. So plus arc, what is this? x, z. If you are fast enough, you can show you the blacks, it's okay. Now, and plus, what is this? This is 7. And next thing, you plus this part. What is this? This is an arc as well. Okay, so you put here arc, what is it? y, w. And plus, don't forget, the remaining o, w, okay. So basically, you cover everything. You cover everything. So once you cover everything, and of course, it's not I say, if you want to skip this, is it okay? Of course, we want to do it fast. Now, so 21 plus 7 and plus 14, you get a total of 42, right? Now. And then, next thing, plus this bracket and plus another bracket over here. Okay, this bracket indicating arc x, uh, xx and this bracket here indicating arc yw. Okay, now again, fill in the blanks. Let's come to the R A of X Z. Huh? Okay, X Z is here. The R given is 21, angle given 90. So let's read here. R is 21, angle is 90. So just fill in the blanks. Okay, 90 over 360 times, don't forget what is this? Parameter 2 pi R. So 2 pi R. If I fill in the blanks, then just erase it. You put times 22 over 7, and then what is your radius? 21. See, everything is given. And let's come to Y W. Okay. YW is here. Um, let me see, okay, here, sorry. And then the radius given is 14 and the angle given here is 120. Okay, so let's put inside. 120 over 360, you see? Angles always give you the ratio, the ratio. So don't worry. Okay, the next times 2 times pi times radius of 14. Okay, Julian, don't forget. Huh? Now, so equals to, of course, Okay, these are the bookings and what you do to get your final answer, take your calculator, just press, press, press everything, get the first answer minus the second answer equals to our final answer. Okay, you get three marks over here. Okay, I won't do all the calculation, you will do it yourself. And then 42 plus, okay, calculator and plus calculator, okay, equals to the final answer. Okay, this is in CM1, this is in CM, and this is in CM squared. Okay, okay so this is R sector. Okay, so I'll come to the next one, um, simultaneous equation.